In today's video, I want to take a look at an awesome JRPG that's coming to the PlayStation 4. It's a game that's actually out over in Japan, and we had known that it was coming to the West for a little bit. However, we hadn't heard information on it for quite a while. 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim is still alive, and it's a game that looks very, very good, and it was received very well in Japan. We'll take a look at the update on that, and a bigger update that is soon to come. On top of that, Beyond Blue is coming to the PlayStation 4, a game that a lot of you guys are probably not familiar with, but a game that I think you guys should have on your radar, and Warhammer 40k Mechanicus for PlayStation 4 will be dropping in July. We'll talk that at the end of this video. So first of all, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim is definitely a game you should have on your radar. It's done by Vanillaware, a studio that I often talk about. They're very, very good. Muramasa the Demon Blade, Odin Sphere, and then, of course, Dragon's Crown are some of the games done by them. And Vanillaware's 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim was announced for the West all the way back in 2017, but we had so much silence from Atlas USA that a lot of people thought that the game may not actually be coming to the West. Following a teaser trailer at E3 of 2017, the Western arm of the publisher has been pretty much silent about Vanillaware's latest and gorgeous game that has been released in Japan in November of 2019, as noted by Twinfinite. Again, link to their article in the description box below. However, Atlas chimed in after IGN tweeted out, we're excited to reveal our massive summer of gaming schedule featuring news, impressions, and gameplay from developers like EA, CD Projekt Red, and more. Hashtag IGN summer of gaming official atlas west then tweeted out prepare yourselves hashtag 13 sentinels aegis rim will make an appearance at ign summer of gaming on june 9th so there you go the game is in fact still in development so you guys don't have to be worried about that a lot of you guys probably aren't even familiar with what the game's are about the description of the title reads this 13 sentinels aegis rim is a game where players take control of 13 different characters who interact with each other to build a larger narrative the gameplay is split into three different sections adventure with exploration and dialogue taking priority and advancing the narrative then you have battle which as it's pretty self-explanatory characters equip mecha and engage in plausible uh, plausible real-time battles against enemies and archives which documents event scenes and important items and characters. During the adventure segments, the player explores two-dimensional side-scrolling environments that are very much reminiscent of the beautiful art style that Vanillaware is known for, interacting with elements of the environments in a non-linear manner. Several elements move in real-time regardless of the player's actions, and the battle system takes the form of a real-time strategy scenario with up to six chosen characters using sentinels to fight off waves of enemies called kaiju. Each sentinel is positioned around a defense hub which must be defended from the kaiju waves. The hub's health is determined by which units are in place and if all units are defeated the hub is overwhelmed and the game ends again this game looks gorgeous and it came out back in november of last year on uh, ps4 in the west and famitsu was very positive towards the game giving it a 38 out of 40 the game won the awards for best scenario and best Ad adventure game at the famitsu dengeki game awards 2019 where as its other nominations were for game of the year best graphics and best rookie game it received a nomination in the media category for the 51st annual Se seun award in 2020, the only video game to be uh, nominated that year. The game unfortunately did not sell the best, and the low sales were noted to be blamed by Konami on the game's blend of genres, different production, and uh, releasing alongside other popular titles. Unfortunately, a game like this being received so well over in Japan and not doing well commercially, that is always a little bit unfortunate. However, it remained in the top 30 best-selling titles into January with total physical sales of nearly 59,500 units, and at this point, we had reached a around 100,000 units. Hopefully when it does come to the West, it's received a little bit better from the commercial side of things, but I think uh, critically, it's going to be a game that a lot of people are all over. All right, moving on from that, Beyond Blue for PS4, Xbox One, PC launches June 11th, and a Nintendo Switch version has also been announced. This is a single-player narrative-driven adventure game that first launched on Apple Arcade on April 17th. A new trailer for the game also introduces Ocean Insights, Elon Media 16 mini documentaries featuring footage from Blue Planet 2 that players will unlock as they play through the game. The game is set against the near-future backdrop of Earth's ocean. Beyond Blue features the scientific support of real-world exploration and outreach initiative Ocean X, embracing its minimally invasive exploration techniques. It tells the story of a crew of scientists Mirai, and, uh, Andre, and Irna, who set out to test their Ocean Sense network, which has the power to shine a literal light on the unexplored depths of the ocean as they travel, unravel its endless mysteries. No, to be an evocative narrative across eight unique dives with full voice cast, 45 different species to scale 
scan as you document a changing ecosystem, 16 unique mini documentaries called Ocean Insights that feature original footage and interviews with science's leading ocean experts and realistic environment based on sea surface topography. Again, Beyond Blue will be dropping on June 11th. And lastly, we have an update on Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. This is a game that was received relatively well on Steam. It came out back in November of 2018 with a very positive reception across 3,563 Steam user reviews. 91% of those reviews were positive. And now we know that the game will be dropping on all major platforms, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch in July. For the first time on console, take control of an array of Adeptus Mechanicus forces as you lead your tech priests and troops on a tactical quest to salvage ancient technologies from the mysterious tombs of the planet Silva Tenbris. The highly immersive strat uh, strategic combat of Mechanicus is combined with a compelling story written by Black Library author Ben Counter, specifically crafted to fit the unique personality of the Adeptus Mechanicus faction. As well as the base game, the console edition of 40k Mechanicus includes the Heretech downloadable content which exposes the dark underbelly of the Adeptus Mechanicus faction like never before. Battle frighteningly familiar foes in a cohort of Heretech tech priests over five new missions using new dis uh, disciplines, troops, and unlockable firepower. The console package is completed with the special edition content which adds the atmospheric soundtrack, short story Deus Ex Mechanicus by Andy Chambers, the stunning digital art book as well as the hard-hitting melee weapon, the Arc Scourge. Again, the game will be dropping in July. It is a real-time strategy game which is always a little bit interesting to see how it makes the transition from keyboard and mouse controls to uh, the, you know, regular uh, controller controls, and that is a little bit difficult with a lot of real-time strategy titles, but we've seen a lot of RTSs be successful in making that transition rather smoothly, and now a formula has kind of been established, so hopefully this one is received as well on PS4 as it is on PC. But that's going to conclude this video again. An awesome JRPG is coming to the PS4 with 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. Good thing that that game is still alive. Beyond Blue is coming to the PS4, Xbox One, and PC on June 11th. The Switch version is coming as well, and Warhammer 40k Mechanicus dropped in July. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.